right, 8.5, day two. More solving rational expressions and equations. Okay, so solving rational expressions can be easily confused with adding and subtracting rational expressions, since both types of problems use the least common denominator. All right? So we need to find the LCD for both. Okay? It says right here. Oh, whoa, that was an accident. Sorry about that. That's very important. You're going to find the LCD for, for both. So the LCD <coughs> for this one that we're adding is going to be 3x minus 2, x minus 1. So the 3x minus 2 needs the x minus 1, top and bottom, like we've been doing. And this needs the 3x minus 2, top and bottom. And then all you do now is distribute it. 8x minus 8 plus 6x minus 4. And remember, if you want to write right now over 3x minus 2x minus 1, you can. I prefer just to simplify first my top instead of rewriting it all. So that's 14x and minus 12 over x minus 1, 3x minus 2. And that's our answer. If you wanted to, just to make sure nothing cancels, you could factor out 2 and get 7x minus 6, which, you know, use the same answer, just one is completely factored. They both work, and nothing cancels. Now over here, the LCD is going to be the same. Okay? But this time, we're going to multiply the top only by the LCD. So we're going to here, 3x minus 2 times x minus 1, and 3x minus 2, x minus 1. And then since everything's multiplication, notice what happens. This cancels, and this cancels. And you end up with 8x minus 8 equals 6x minus 4. And now we stop. We're going to subtract 6x, we'll get 2x, we're going to add 8, and get 4, divide by 2, x equals 2. So, just some summary down here. When you're adding or subtracting, you multiply only by what is needed to get the LCD. You multiply the top and bottom, that's extremely important, and you keep the denominator as you continue to simplify, or you can save it to the very end. For solving, you multiply every term, but this is very important, top only for the LCD. Then we cancel, we get rid of the denominators, and then we solve. So let's do a few. So LCD is x, x minus 1. This one just needs the x, <coughs> this one needs the x minus 1. And remember, I'm going to make this plus, make that a negative 7, and distribute the negative 7. So 5x squared minus 7x plus 7. Nothing to combine, so I'm done. Over here, a little bit different, the LCD is, well, it's the same, D, sorry, it's going to be x, x minus 1. So I'm going to multiply this times x, x minus 1, top only, this times x, x minus 1, top only, and this times x, x minus 1, top only. Here the x minus 1 cancel, leaving me 5 times x. Here the x cancel, again I'm distributing a negative 7, so I get negative 7x plus 7, look familiar? Pretty close. And then I get equals, here the x is cancel, 9x minus 9. First I simplify, and that's going to give me negative 2x plus 7 equals 9x minus 9. I'm going to add 2x to this side. I'm going to add, well, actually both sides, cancel that. 
So I'm going to add 9 to both sides to get 16. Divide by 11. And yes, fractions are okay for answers. Sorry, wrong button. Okay, only two more. Remember, we always want to factor first. So there's going to be 2x and x. And let's see, 2 times 4 is 8, minus 1 is 7. I want more positives than negatives. So my LCD here is 2x minus 1, x plus 4. The left fraction has everything. The right one just needs the x plus 4. So, I'm, and remember, I'm going to do this, distribute negative x. So I get negative 21 minus x squared minus 4x. At this point, I'm just going to reorder it. Negative x squared minus 4x minus 21 all over 2x minus 1 x plus 4. Over here, we already know that this factor is to 2x minus 1, x plus 4. So we have 2x minus 1 here, x plus 4 here. So our LCD, nothing new, 2x minus 1, x plus 4. So I'm going to multiply the top here by 2x minus 1 and x plus 4. I just don't have room to write it to the side. Here's going to be 2x minus 1 x plus 4, and here I'm going to do 2x minus 1, x plus 4. The entire LCD top only. Well, everything cancels here, leaving me negative 21 x equals. Here, that cancels, so I'm going to distribute the 2, 2x plus 8. Plus, well, let's see, x plus 4 cancels, I'm going to distribute the 3, 6x that's minus 1, that's minus 3. Combine like terms, negative 21x equals 8x, 8 minus 3 is 5. So I'm going to subtract 8x and get negative 29x equals 5, and yes, I can get an ugly fraction like this. Oops, too many negatives x equals 5 over negative 29. It doesn't matter where the negative is. And there's your answer. And that's it. Short notes.